Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? Guys, I've been watching so much Tekken, and it's freaking amazing to see how bad you really are when it comes down to how much attention and detail people put into everything that they know about the game. But let's talk about the true game this week, and that's Darwin's game. Um, getting to learn a little bit about the analyzer, I have a really bad feeling that she could die at any time now. Like, if you give us backstory about you, for instance, we didn't get a backstory about the flower guy, but seeing how he's on like the wrong end of this fighting, it don't really matter at that point, right? Like, we we were expecting our character to take care of that guy, but it didn't really turn out that way, so now that we're in a position where we straight up got to see who is going to be able to take out who um it's only getting more interesting in the grand scheme of why our character is making these uh choices like why is he deciding not to go full out and take life and make sure that whoever is <clears throat> in his way kind of just you know meets their end at this point in time but as we can see it doesn't come off that way right like it feels like he's just uh figuring out more and more ways to push push people towards his side or like make people know that if he had chosen differently he could have killed him stuff like that um so they're pretty much you know stuck helping him like there's not much you can do if you not only you lose and the person spares you i mean you could be a, a scrub and you know attack them or whatever but at the same time by doing that you're just going to put yourself in an even worse position because as we hear this week he's like i'm maxed out i don't have any like he didn't have anything to really give anymore um and that was kind of the tell of the take at the day at, at the time was okay they're both at their limit and instead of just bopping this person after he reaches his limit and he asks us to be killed you know quickly we also get to see you know both sides of the spectrum and what they kind of see when their lives are like flashing before their eyes or what they see uh when things are getting really, really dangerous and the scuffle's about to come to an end, right? So these are the types of stuff that kind of put forward the narrative of, hey, uh, anything and anyone has something they could be fighting for or trying to see at the end of the day, but what really matters is the fact that no one in this world is going to supposedly stop the person that has the power, right? Like, that's what it kind of feels like. Oh, I, I have this power, so I need to, you know, push forward, get get as strong as possible so I can be in a position of power. Because if not, I might lose everything I've been building up to this point. And that sucks, right? That always is going to suck for people that know they're better than what they're showing but they get sold short or they get outmatched and that's kind of what happened to the flower guy this week is he had a ridiculous amount of talent and knowledge of how to win these fights it's just when it came down to actually doing it he didn't have a chance all of a sudden right like he was about to finish the guy off but because he meets his like inside of his head the the forger who's been making him these guns and helping him put forward uh much better attempts to survive he then finds out that this man uh inside it looks like him but you know it probably is him as a forger like it's the sigil version of him inside there and I think that's like the cool part of this, but at the same time, it's the other side of the spectrum of what does other people see, or why don't other people see that when they're getting into these positions to make a better call? Like, for instance, the first guy, why didn't he see some invisible guy that 
turn like the predator for instance or something to help him out you know so it's going into this narrative that the main character is actually important and either that he's important or he just happened to get the sigil that uh, definitely gave him a better a chance at survival at the end of the day I don't know but I do know that I'm looking forward to whatever comes next in this show I've already seen people giving this like the worst anime of like the year the year guys we're in the first month of a whole year <laughs> and this guy is already calling it so I mean there's there's certain types of people out there and some of them have patience some of them don't some of them enjoy things and some of them don't and that's fine and all but to say that this is the worst anime of the year is so dumb <laughs> um i did find out the show is going to be like only 11 episodes i believe so that's kind of wonky and weird but it also leads to the conclusion of if they're doing 11 and not 12 like a classic 12 there could also be a reasoning behind it right like there also could be a follow-up point as to why they're taking this uh, approach at 11 so maybe they can work on a second season quicker or maybe they just didn't have as much content that they would want to work with 12 episodes so they finished it in 11 I don't know but I'm just hoping for something relatively good at the end of the day because if it's not and it's lackluster sure this guy could be right about it being a bad anime but the worst I don't know if uh, I don't know if that's going to come out to be the outcome for this show but if it is it is what it is I don't I'm not standing up for it. I'm not saying that this is my baby. And how dare you guys say this show could even be. No. I don't care. As long as I can enjoy the show as it's going right now. I'm good. But if the show gets worse. If the show proves that. It's just going to continue to do the same thing. Because what's happened every single week. In this show. Besides the first episode. He's recruited. He's spared. He's you know turn the other cheek and stuff like that so it's coming down to this weird notion of is he going to always do this or is this just something right now that he's doing because uh he still thinks there's a chance for these people to never kind of change their perspectives and change their outcome on how they see him and stuff like that i don't know but i'm interested and also he has the untouchable queen or the un defeated queen that he finally defeated and stuff like that so we're getting somewhere and i think it's relatively cool that whatever pops off from here on is either going to be more of the same him fighting people to the end and save like sparing their lives and then maybe making them become uh his his people that help him in this darwin's game or that they're just you know they know about each other's specials and sigils and stuff and you that's what i don't like is you leave all these people alive who had a better look at your sigil and a better like combat understanding of it and what happens they could sell that information they could tell anybody they could use it against you you know what i mean like any way shape or form it just doesn't look like a good idea to keep them alive um in a game where your livelihood uh, depends on people maybe not knowing your sigil as much so you have a chance to get the upper hand in times where you should be able to but that's just my prediction on that and i hope you guys are having an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be definitely looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say about the darwin's the game um if you are keeping up with it or if you dropped it whatever the case but yeah talk to you in the next one i'm definitely looking forward to what comes to the end of this game if there is an end to this game and more sigils like everybody's sigils are pretty cool like the abilities we've seen so far so i expect to see more pretty hype stuff from all of this and i will talk to you in the next one i am your boy the anime and i will definitely talk to you sooner or later peace